Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from our Camping and Survival series. I got uh, another order in, and uh, it came as two packages here. This is through the Survival Life Company. Uh, if you want to check it out, of course, there's going to be a, I have a link down there in the description below. But uh, let's see, we've got two pieces. What should we go for? Um, we'll go for the small one first and save, save the big one for last. How's that? So first off, this does say uh, M-Tech USA. And then we open it up, and as you can see, we have got a knife. Now, the normal kind of nylon sheath here is kind of interesting, a little bit different. It has the cover for the blade there, and of course a couple of rivets there. Uh, it is a fold-over style. It has a snap to uh, kind of keep it in there, but then it also kind of comes up the back, and I think that's probably because of the fact they put this belt loop on here. I uh, wanted to keep that kind of high. You don't want it necessarily down there by the blade, so you've got the, uh, the handle here uh, sticking in the ribs. Now, this was these are kind of special pieces, and as you can see right here, this is obviously very patriotic. You can see the American flag. Uh, now you do have uh, some uh, scales on here. They're pretty, actually pretty thick. Um, now let's see, I'm thinking, yeah, these are wooden scales. Uh, so on these, uh, and then they use these uh, Torx head uh, type of uh, rivets there. So these are of course screwed on there. So you can, you can of course uh, take these apart. Now I'm noticing coming to me, it is a little bit loose. Um, so I'm probably going to have to take and tighten that up a little bit. It does have a uh, basically a, a lanyard hole here at the back, kind of that long oval shape. And of course the blade, as you can see here, does have kind of that Tonto style blade. Um, it's a little different than regular Tontos. It's usually, usually regular Tontos are much straighter, but this one flares out as it goes closer to your hand. It does have the little cutout notch here to make it easier to sharpen. So let's take a quick look, see if it, uh, see how sharp it is. Of course, I've been testing knives, so I'm sharpening them. So I don't have a lot of hair, but this is taking the hair. Oh wow! And the tip of it, the edge of it there, the front is taking it off even better than the back is. But it's all taking it off one way or the other. So uh, yeah, very nice, sharp right out of the box. I will say this, it's a very nice feel. It's heavy weighted, uh, but that is fairly thick at the back end there. Um, I'm gonna say that's probably somewhere close between 3 8 and almost a quarter of an inch thick. All right guys, so obviously we're outside. I went ahead and uh, when I was working on the scales, gonna tighten them down and everything, uh, I noticed that it actually had the design going all the way through. Uh, again, these are just uh, wooden scales. So uh, pretty simple, and it does use that uh, basically kind of a nut and bolt kind of setup for the uh, for the rivets there. Uh, now these took a uh, let's see, this was a T9 Torx. Uh, if you happen to do it yourself, now the big one, we'll go ahead and get through that, and uh, as you can see here, the big one is an axe or a hatchet. Uh, now this one says TAC Force. Uh, we do have a simple, this is uh, a simple nylon uh, axe mask. Uh, so there we go, it has the snap at the back there to hold the back end in. And we have the snap that goes around there to hold the whole thing in. Uh, now we again have a dark handle here. This uh, is is I believe this is actually like a polymer, some type of polymer. Now this is also done with uh, removable rivets here. Uh, it is kind of cut out with some shapes there. You can see kind of these groove sections here. Uh, and then the uh, rivets here are actually on this one. They look to be Allen keys. So uh, you could go in there if you needed to, you could change them out if necessary. And Again, we are going with a patriotic theme. And you can see here, now of course it does have some oil on it, but you can see here it does have the uh, American flag logo there, or the American flag kind of embossed in there. 
And uh, this is, uh, I believe this is just kind of, is it printed on? No, this is actually etched into it. Now, as you can see, it does have a flat blade on it. And this blade is roughly, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that's probably about three, three and a half inches. Uh, it does have the kind of spike end here, and it is just beveled on the back end. It is not taken down sharp. Uh, now, of course, the tip of it does kind of come down to a pretty good point, but it's not a sharpened point. Let's see if we can do the same thing. Try that down there. And it is cutting the hair. It's not cutting it nearly as well as the, uh, the knife is. But of course, again, this is an ax or a hatchet. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's not going to be the same. Obviously, this is one solid piece of metal. Um, and uh, the main thickness here is roughly a quarter of an inch uh, thick at the widest points here. We do have a opening here at the back end, just a simple uh, drilled hole there for a lanyard if you want to put that on there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a nice weight. It's not really cumbersome. All right, well, here's the ax. And uh, again, you can see it has that laser etching on it and everything. I need to clean it off a little bit. Still got some of that oil and everything on it. But uh, got that laser etching on it. So it's got that, uh, that flag embossed or well etched into it as well as uh, their uh, USA design and all that information right there in their TF logo for TAC Force. Uh, again, this is a piece of uh, pin oak. Easily knocks right into that. I'm, I'm, I'm barely putting any pressure into it. And it's, it's, it's chopping right into it. The uh, back end's not as sharp, so uh, give it a little bit more force and it'll stick. Now, again, we've got this nice hard ash, and this ash is harder than this oak right now. I'm not wailing away on this at all. This is just slicing right through that. You can see it just, it just took the end of it off so easy. And with this being etched into it, this is not one that I'd be as worried about using as a showpiece. Um, it's definitely a conversation starter. But, I mean, in terms of cutting, this is probably the best ax I, I have. Uh, even with some of those other nice ones that I've gotten recently, uh, just the simple kind of, I, I, I kind of consider it like a carving ax because it's so thin and everything. I wouldn't necessarily want to be chopping trees down with it, but definitely, Definitely using it to do some stock removal on uh, on some type of carving or something like that. And you can see it's just it's just taking it off like it's nothing. That that'll do it for me. My name's Cougar. This is the world of me. Another episode from our camping and survival series. Uh, obviously, links down in the description below, as well as our social media. And uh, we've also got uh, a new link down there. Go ahead and check that out if you want to help support the channel. Uh, there is a donation uh, link down there as well. I'd like to uh, wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.